Hello guys, welcome back with me to another Pixel Worlds video. So today I'm gonna be talking about five things that you need to know about the world locks becoming untradeable. The points that I'm gonna be sharing with you are based on my opinion, how it will affect the economy when it comes to trading. So let's just jump right into it. Car top down and we're driving just to feel young, moving away to the sea. How can we sell an item without knowing the price? Well, it is easy to find out the price in the item info. But what about the item that is so expensive that doesn't have value in item info? Or in several cases, has one byte coin in the info or got manipulated? Very expensive items are rarely or even never sold in PWE. So let me tell you, it's actually pretty simple. First, we must already know how much the last price is in world locks before the update. Then, we just need to convert the price into Bitcoin's price. For easy calculation, one world lock is equal to 250 Bitcoins and one PL is equal to 25k Bitcoins. So if the item is 40 platinum locks, then that's 1 million Bitcoins. Now you know the item price in Bitcoins, I'd call it price conversion. It might be hard if you have to remember all of our items price in world locks, then we calculate each of them to Bitcoins, but not that we just need to do this once, because of course you just need to remember the price in Byte, not in world locks anymore, then it will be used forever. I think this might take 1 to 2 weeks before all items have their own price in Bitcoins, including the manipulated ones. <laughs> 250 byte per world lock? Yeah, that's what most likely the fans are gonna sell after the update. But did you know that it will be changed back to 219 per world lock? Yes. It will happen in August together with card barrel update. The date is still unknown. You know how to find out an expensive item's price in Bitcoins, but when you are offering it with other items, it is true that calculation will be harder. With word blocks, we usually sum each items like this. This is the 1140 word locks, but in Bitcoins, each price has big numbers like this. That's why we might need calculator more often. But actually, there is one thing that can help us with this calculation, which is our next point. I think most of you guys already know this, but I'll just tell anyway. So for easy calculation, when we trade item for item, we use this one letter, M for million and K for kilo or thousand. A few examples. This will make calculation much easier and most players with the same game system do this too. We usually don't need to mention the currency, so straight up say 750k instead of 750k Bitcoins or BC. Same thing with Warlocks, pretty basic. You might be asking, why will it be easier to sell items for pure after the update? Once again, this is my opinion guys. We all know we use word lock and Bitcoin as currency. That means the total amount of currency in the game has been halved. But when word locks become untradeable and able to be converted into Bitcoins, there will be more Bitcoins in the game, which make it easier to get pure over and um, inflation in worst case. But yeah, tax in PWE works to prevent the inflation since not many players burn Bitcoins in superior event. 
So that's all for this video. Once again, it's all based on my opinion and what do you guys think about it? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!